All right, guys, in video number two for Muscle Mike Flies, four fly vegan rigs. We're gonna go over the, the breakdown and structure components of these of these advanced vegan rigs because these are, in my opinion, the most advanced vegan rigs in the market. Had the most amount of realism and art compared to traditional and other models from other manufacturers on the Great Lakes, North Pacific Northwest. All right, so. Um, Let's go to the leader first, keep it simple, okay? All right, so the leader is tied on a 50 inch, 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. The three, four, six, 10 inch model is tied on a 54 inch leader, steel luxury longer length for, but majority of all the leaders are tied on 50 inch, 60 pound Seaguar blue label fluorocarbon. And at the end of the leader is two four rod Gamagatsu octopus hooks, double uni knot snelled with 10 turns around each snell. Um, these will not break, they're absolutely freaking bulletproof. So they're phenomenal. Um, so the question may, some of you may ask is why did, I, why, did, why did I select 60 compared to 50? Well, given that my vegan rigs have more material, a little bit more denser, and more volume compared to standard Howie Fly style vegan rigs like Sam McKinney, for example. You need enough. You need you need you need enough physical force and power to turn over with the right flasher combination, where it's not going to work correctly. That's why I selected 60 over 50. Just that 10 pound difference is very important because it gives a lot more whip to the teaser flies and the larger trailer fly in the back. Otherwise, it's just going to have a very, very slow, subtle spin, and it's gonna and it's gonna not entice any kind of forging reaction or forging response from a large lake trout or a large chinook or a silver or a coho salmon or any salmon for that matter. But again, that's the leader. Um, again, there's four t there's four flies on here, three teaser flies, the larger shore fly in the back, and to prevent them from sliding because a disadvantage some vegan rigs in the market are they use toothpicks or crimps that damages or weakens the leader toothpicks get waterlogged they eventually fall off which causes the teaser flies to collapse to each other and you don't want that so i saw that problem by doing the following behind each teaser fly you have a six millimeter bead followed by a six turn sliding nail knot with 80 pound Dacron. This does not damage the 60 pound fluoro and it's very easy for the for the for the fisherman or the angler of course to adjust the length of the teaser. See? All you gotta do is take your fingers and just pull it and that's simply it. Um, well again these come in multiple color schemes. Next thing to go over is the uh, the color, so it's blueback heron. You're gonna have bucktail and some synthetics mixed on the top and the bottom. So you have a white underbelly, combination of four colors on top, chartreuse, um, royal blue, turquoise blue, a smidge of purple, two colors of flash. You got teal blue holographic flash and cerulean blue flash with a peacock curl, and then uh, some hen saddle feathers for the for the, for the uh, operculum or gill flap, then you got some 10 millimeter eyeballs in, the, in there with two coats of thick and thin resin to keep the eyeball situated. This rig right here is two years old, so you can tell it's been used quite heavily, but still excellent. And then another cool component for the lateral line, we use three strands of blue lateral scale flash. I used to use two in the beginning, but I upped it to three to increase the, the swimming action, the sides of the fly. So, and then when you get to the larger trailer fly, six inch, here's a six inch one, same thing. But here's the catch. When you get to a seven inch one or bigger, I add some more detail. I put some blue saddle hackle feathers in here. As you can see, these dyed barbed feathers. I put these in here just to add some more jazz, jazz it up a little bit on the larger ones. So again, um, vegan rigs that have a seven and eight inch or a 10 inch trailer fly are gonna have more realism as far as fly time materials in there and have some more flash and have these uh 
dyed bars and saddle hackle feathers that I dyed blue. And um, you got peacock curls. So this is a typical, this car pattern right here is blueback herring. This is a three, four, six, eight inch model right here. And again, same leader length on that one's 50 inch. The only difference is with a three, four, six, 10, I designed for lake trout, for trophy lake trout fishermen. It's on a 54 inch leader. So, and there's a couple glow in the dark pearl beads on here, three or four of them. Just helps keep the flies separated from the bead on strike impact, again, so it rides up the leader. So that's pretty much the main uh, component, the material components. And I guess maybe one other thing I want to go over is the eyeballs. The eyeballs are 10 millimeter um, from Fleming Fishco eyes, color earth. I used wind in these model right here, but I always use earth in them, but they're, they're excellent eyes. Some of the most realistic ones on the market. Um, we should make your own. Another good guy we'll re look out to is Dead Meat Customs. He makes excellent eyeballs. But um, again, that's the anatomical breakdown of the of the leader. Oh, yeah. Last thing to go over, as far as the loop goes, I tied a real simple double surgeon's loop that you can connect to your, to, to put into your flasher. And that's all you need because 60 pounds is extremely strong. You don't want to use multiple wrap knots for this. So a simple two turn surgeon's loop or double surgeon loop is all you need to ensure that this knot does not come undone. Because if you put too many wraps in a surgeon loop, it may fail and it may come undone and it's not gonna hold its near 100% strength like this one does. So this is Mike signing off. Next, we're gonna go over um, so a technique as far as what is the proper spacing on a vegan rig. So that way you maximize your, your efficiency and maximize the swimming performance of these rigs. So that way you improve your catch results, either in the Great Lakes or off the coast of Alaska.